All right, welcome to our first day of art class. Um, I'm excited to share some stuff with you and what we're going to do today. Um, I always like to go over the color wheel for the first class, and if you aren't familiar with the color wheel, this is kind of what it looks like. This is a very basic color wheel. Um, this has got your primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. And then it's also got your secondary colors, which are orange, green, and purple. So those are really the colors that we are going to focus on today. So what you are going to need, you are going to need a pencil. You're going to need a piece of paper white paper, and you are going to need colors. So those can be crayons, those can be markers, color pencils, but you need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, so you need a pencil, paper, you need your colors. So I've got crayons. You also are going to need a black marker or a Sharpie. Okay. Um, and if you are in the first through third grade, I want you to also get um, scissors and glue. And you're going to need a white piece of paper and a blue piece of paper. Okay, sorry, my handwriting is not great on an angle. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your white piece of paper. Alright, you're going to take your pencil and you are going to draw six circles. Now, they don't have to be in a line. They don't all have to be the same size. Um, so essentially, these are going to be the bodies of your birds. Okay? So then, you're going to take your Sharpie, and you're going to outline the pencil. So that it shows up. I just like to start in pencil because if you go in pencil first and you make a mistake, you can erase it. If you started with Sharpie, you cannot erase that. So here are my six bird bodies. Okay, so then you're going to take your Sharpie and you're going to just make your birds have a little bit of a personality. So your birds need eyes, and they need a beak, and some wings. Okay, there's bird number one. Um, they need some funny legs. Okay, so you can do squiggles, or you could do zigzag. You can have them looking to the side. You can have them looking to the front. You can have them being silly, you get to make your birds however you want. So here's another example of a bird, okay? So you're going to give one of them a bow. down and have little eyelashes, have a little beak, and then her, she has some wings coming off, she's got long legs. All right, so there's bird number three, okay, and this bird is going to be looking the other way, he's got a little a little 
little shy. It's got his wings head tucked inside. It's got squirrely legs. Okay, so there's bird number four. This bird is going to be looking to the side. Yelling at this other bird. Okay. And then this last bird. Looking down. And remember, you can do your birds however you want. This is where you get to be very creative. All right, so there's all my birds. I got six birds on my paper. So now we are going to take our colors. This is for fourth through sixth grade, okay? Um, I'm going to show the first through third grade what they're going to do in just a second. But for my fourth through sixth graders, you're going to color the first one red. And for time, I'm not going to color all of them. I'm just going to show you which ones you're going to color which. So red would be first. You're going in a rainbow. Okay. So orange would be next. And then yellow. Then green. All right, blue. And I like to kind of go around my edges darker and then kind of lighter in the middle. And then purple would be your last. Okay, so you would obviously color them all the way in, but they're going to be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So this is what your final copy is going to look like, okay? So I want you to take your time and really focus on the detail and making it your own. All right, so if you are in first through third grade, you are going to do something very similar, but you have an extra step. So you're gonna take your pencil and your white piece of paper. Okay, you're gonna do six circles again. And these circles can be anywhere on your paper because you're gonna end up cutting these circles out, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your circles you're going to color your circles in. You've got one red, one orange, one yellow. And it is okay if you are not coloring any lines because you're just going to cut these out. You're going to have your next one green. one will be purple. Now, I don't know if you guys have had a chance, but I have set up a YouTube channel, so I'm going to have all my videos posted on there, and I have a time-lapse video of the ones that I did, and you can go and watch those. Um, this will be obviously up there for you to watch. All right, so now you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to cut out your circles on your line and this is where your blue paper comes in you are going to be placing these on your blue paper you'll need your glue All right, so orange and if you fourth through sixth graders want to do this step as well you can um, Yellow. Remember, 
remember to make sure they go in order. We want rainbow order. That's how our color wheel goes. So green. And remember, you can use colored pencil, you can use marker, you can use crayons. Um, if you want it to, and it's available to you, you could um, watercolor or paint. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Okay, I want you to remember that the red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. And that orange, green, and purple are your secondary colors. It's very important. Art 101. All right, so you're going to place your circles on your paper. Get your glue. You're going to glue them down. And you can glue them kind of however you want. But I do want you to make sure that they are at least, obviously, red first. Orange second, so kind of in a row. Yellow. Make sure you get all the glue on all the edges so your paper stays nice and tight to that other, the blue piece of paper. Green, we got to do blue next. Running out of glue here. Alright, we've got blue, and then I'm going to try and get this big purple dot up here. Okay, so now you get to take your black marker or sharpie and this is where you get to create your bird's face and beak and legs. So this is kind of what your finished product is going to look like. So a little, little eye and a beak, little legs, and then Obviously, your birds have to have wings, and if you want, you could do a little hair on top. But these birds are just hanging out in the grass. We're going to draw grass on there in just a little bit. I'm getting my little bird faces on. I'll show you in just a second. And there's this little guy up here. He's kind of hanging out. All right. So here is your birds all finished with their faces and their beaks their legs and I'm going to take a green crayon and just mark in some green lines that will symbolize as grass. So these birds are just walking around looking for worms. Or maybe they're a little looking for bird seed. All right so if you are first through third grade your picture should look something like this. Okay. And if you are in fourth through sixth grade, obviously you're going to finish your coloring, your paper should look something like this. So remember, this is our color wheel birds, okay, and we've got them in rainbow order. Red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors. Orange, green, and purple are our secondary colors. And if you want to, you can quiz your parents or your brothers or your sisters or your grandparents later and ask them if they know what the primary colors are and what the secondary colors are. Um, hopefully you guys will get this done today and we can uh, show each other and have a Zoom meeting later this afternoon. I'll see you then.